guys and welcome to the episode 19 of my Coco Chocolate Tasting. Today we're trying two different bars, all of them from Venezuela, two of them from a brand that I knew back then and it was pretty good, El Rey, the King is the name of the brand and another one that I, I never saw being there, it's called Sinfonia, Symphony. Let's see how good they are. All of them milk chocolate bar and the one from Symphonia, it's dark chocolate 57%. Let's clean our palettes and start this tasting. The first chocolate for today, El Rey. It's a chocolate from Venezuela, it says without sugar, milk chocolate, criollo natural, 34% cacao, it's sweetened with maltitol. In the ingredients we see maltitol, uh, whole milk, cacao butter, cacao liquor from Criollo Natural, soy lettuce, emulsifier, ethyl vanillin. Contains milk, uh, traces of saccharose, nuts, peanuts, and soy seeds. This chocolate is special for people who has to avoid the consumption of sugar. Yeah, right, multitude. So, the first chocolate, we're opening it. This is not fine chocolate, so we're going backwards here. Here you can smell the sweetness of the chocolate. It's a milk chocolate. This, I love this brand being back there because from the industrialized chocolate, it's one of the best. I really like it. Look at the design. It says El Rey, the king. The name is pretty awesome if you ask me. It has a very strong milky, uh, milk chocolate flavor. In fact, it smells very good. Seems to be uh, a creamy chocolate. Mm, smells very good. Smells traces of fruitiness and nuts. Just in the smell. Like you're smelling a bunch of peanuts all together with fruits. Well, here we go with the first tasting for this chocolate. It's not a creamy chocolate at all. In fact, you feel your mouth. Not getting dry, but the sweetness is very strange. It stays there and doesn't melt. It takes a lot of work to taste the flavors. It's all pretty much sweetness for the multitude. It's not like when you have a sugar bar. It's very, very different from another bars. Uh, let's clean our palate and do one more tasting. Here we go. It has a good tempering. Little bits of hints of fruits, mostly you feel the traces of peanuts and soy. Feels like a candy bar, pretty much. It's not that creamy, it's not as creamy as I thought at the first time. It's not the most amazing bar. In Venezuela, in the industrialized level, it was one of the, of the good chocolates. Well, trying the chocolates that you've seen in the last two episodes. This seems to be like, well, it's not even chocolate, if you tell me but it's pretty good to be a candy bar because this is pretty much a candy bar in the in the whole concept of chocolate it's, it's not bad besides the cocoa use in this chocolate has those strong of fruitiness that's what you feel when you, you have it but mostly you feel the traces of, of milk a little bit and the dry fruits that's pretty much this chocolate El Rey uh, the first one for today the second one it's also a milk chocolate with 35 and 4 percent. Also criollo natural. Also from Chocolate El Rey. It has refined sugar. This one has sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk in powder, uh, soy lettuce, and ethyl vanilla. Let's clean our palate and go with the second chocolate. So here we are. Check it out. The shining is not so bright. It's not a bright chocolate bar. It also says El Rey but the texture seems a little bit different. There is a little bit uh, air bubbles in the chocolate, so the tempering is not as good as I thought. Uh, well, it also has been through a hell of a way. It's a long way to go in a suitcase. So, let's do the try of this chocolate and let's see how good it is. Now, this one doesn't feel so much sweet. You feel more the milk, a little bit of the cacao. Here we go. This one is a lot better, so much flavor, better flavor than the last one. The first chocolate, you feel like you are in a shoe sole, it's very dry, it's not dry, it's strange, the mouth feel, it's not that good, but in this one, it's very smooth, melts good in your mouth, feels good, the aftertaste is nice, though it's 
the same. It's a candy bar with good cacao, but the feel that you get in your mouth is so much different. Also good tempering. As you, as you can see, it, uh, it had pre, uh, little air bubbles. That doesn't interfere as much, but that means it, it wasn't made with the proper care. Very sweet, very smooth, you feel it in your mouth, it melts nice, not so fast, not so slow. Second try for this chocolate. Here we go. It's very good. It's a milk, milk chocolate that I am, I am used to it. The difference when you make a chocolate with maltitol and sugar, it's out of this world. Multitol feels like you're doing something something synthetic. This one with sugar is more smooth, feels very nice in your mouth. It's not like you are eating a shoe. The last one you feel like you are chewing a, a shoe. Stays in your mouth awkwardly. In this one, this doesn't happen. This one is a very good bar. It's also classified, uh, if you ask me, like uh, milk chocolate, but it's not a candy bar, at least for me. In the candy bars, it's a candy bar, but in the candy bar level, it's in a pretty good awesome level. It's a milk chocolate that I am used to it. Reminds me a lot of my childhood because of the Venezuelan chocolate flavor. In these two bars, the flavor of vanilla is very, very soft. You almost don't feel it. And now, the last bar for today, it was a maker purpose. This is not something that I plan. It's also sweetened with maltitol. It's 57% uh, dark chocolate. It's from a brand that I have never heard before. It's Symphonia. So when I see something with maltitol, uh, for those of you that don't know, maltitol is used as a sugar substitute. It has 75 and 90 percent of the sweetness of the sucrose and nearly identical properties except for brown. It's a sugar alcohol. It's not sugar, it imitates the sugar flavor but in the texture is where it fails because it, it doesn't combine very well with the chocolate. Here you have it, watch it. The ingredients are uh, cacao liquor from cacao criollo, maltito, uh, cacao butter, Soy lettuce and ethyl vanilla. Let's open this bar. I've seen the, this design before. Looks terrible. I know it's a big commute. It smells dark and feels kind of shady. Let's let the flavor define how good it really is. Let's try our snap. Sharp snap. Let's clean our palate and start with this tasting. But it doesn't smell bad, it smells very good. It smells like a 70% bar or even 80. It has a strong uh, smell of dark chocolate. The smell remains more strong when you have less sugar because mostly is the cocoa liquor and the maltitol. Well, let's do it a try, here we go. Uh, guys, you should never, never, ever, ever Try to buy a chocolate bar, a dark chocolate, even a chocolate one with multitool. It's crappy, it's full of crap, it's disgusting. It's all dry, it doesn't have any flavor, only the sweetness of the of, of the multitool, the dark chocolate uh, bitterness, you lose it and even transforms like disgusting. Not nice, not nice at all. I'm going to clean my palate, do one more try just to stay completely sure, but I wouldn't recommend to you this chocolate at all. No. Don't even think about it. Are you watching that multi-tone part that it's right there on the shelf? Don't take it. It's crap. It's real crap. You're buying it from the supermarket, wherever you find it, you're buying crap and eating it. I don't like it. I don't like it, neither you should. It doesn't re respect the flavor of the chocolate. In fact, I feel like it's an insult to the chocolate. I mean, I'm going to eat it because I'm a chocolate, I love chocolate, but it's not something that I, I, I will buy by myself. Oh, I sit on the shelf and I will buy it. I'd rather choose another bar, another chocolate. Even if it's not the right kind of chocolate, but I shouldn't buy it, at least this one. I shouldn't buy it. The other, the other two was nice, 
except the one with multi -tool. And if I if I want a candy, I should probably go with the second one. If I have to choose between between the three bars that we tried today, and for, um, I'm going to rate them. The first bar is a four. Uh, I rate it with four points, although it's quality cocoa, uh, cacao. At this point, is a on the package because it's Venezuelan cacao. It's good. It's good if, if you are looking to eat a candy. Well, it's not even good if you're looking to eat a candy because it's, it feels like plastic in your mouth. That's exactly the mouth feel in your mouth for the first one and the third one. For, this, uh, for the second one, I will rate it with I will rate it with, with six because I will buy it again. I will recommend it to you if you're looking to to have a good chocolate. I, well, I mean a good candy chocolate, and it reminds me a lot of the chocolates that I, uh, the the bars the chocolate bars that I used to eat when I was a kid. The third bar. Oh my god, I don't know what to say about this chocolate. I've never tried this brand before and I, I, I think I won't. Yeah, I didn't like it because of the multitool. It's already bad if you get a, a chocolate bar with multitool on it, but I didn't thought that the texture of this chocolate would be as bad as it is. It's literally plastic in your mouth. It's not because they're sweet, because the one and two it's because they're very sweet and no flavor. This one has the, the darkness from the, the, the chocolate, but the sweetness doesn't combine with it. And you might feel you're eating something very healthy, but in fact you're eating crap. Doesn't feel good in your mouth, doesn't taste nice. I will give it three points. Three points. This means a bar with more chocolate flavors or with a poor mix of them. Might be to if you want to dare and try something new and uh, know how the plastic tastes, this is the bar for you. If not, don't try it. <laughs> it it's, it's not good at all. And that's all for today. Thank you very much guys for joining me in the episode 19 of my Coca Chocolate Tasting. I'm, a, I'm always open to your suggestions. If, if you can, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel to keep updated. If you want to, you can also watch it on my Facebook page and get to start posting them too. And it's the same name, my Coco. And follow me on Instagram where I put everything that I do pretty much every day. And that's all for today. And remember, what do we say to the chocolate shell? No matito, please. Bye. See ya.